So we're using video and radar to try and provide a measure of what's happening in that nearshore zone between the shoreline and out beyond the surf zone. So our beaches are continually changing, sometimes quite quickly. During storms you'll see a lot of erosion following that storm, but then the beaches also change much more slowly. So a beach can look very different in the winter than it does in the summer. And then even on much longer time scales. So this beach that we're at right now, if we go a kilometre south of here, uh, 70 years ago, we know from historical photographs that the shoreline was probably 70 to 100 metres shorewards of where it is now. Whereas if you go the other way, within a kilometre north of us, the shoreline was seawards of where it is now. So the beach to the north is eroding, the beach to the south is accreting. So the tower's equipped with six video cameras and a radar. The video cameras image the distribution of wave breaking simply because breaking waves are white. And the radar can see then through changes in the water roughness. And through that we can infer what the underlying water depth is. And also about once a month we try and get out with a jet ski and measure the depth through the surf zone. And we can use those direct measurements of the water depth to ground truth the radar and the video images. Yeah. Coastal councils around the world are having to develop strategies to deal with increasing sea levels and changing wave climates, which have a serious impact on coastal erosion and coastal infrastructure. The work that we're doing here aims to improve our understanding of those processes to develop a predictive skill that councils can then use to develop those strategies.